Hi everyone and welcome back to Swiftly Shivali. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing Xcode tips and tricks on how to replace uh, variables and function names throughout your code base. Uh, over here, I have a very simple um, sample project created using Swift UI. Um, as you can see in my canvas on the right hand side, there's a preview of my little app here. I have a bunch of text just displayed on the view and it says hello lovely subscribers over and over again um, using a vstack and then I have text that says today we will learn about replace functionality and then followed by more hello lovely subscribers and then let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is just a very simple um, project that I created for demonstration purposes. I have three constants here uh, called content one, content two, and then just content. And I use them throughout my view here. Uh, nothing great, but I wanted to show you what would happen if I suppose I submit this for a code review and I get feedback saying that my constants are not very descriptive and I should rename these. So what are the different techniques that I can use to rename something that is used over and over and over again throughout my app? One way would be to use command F functionality and search for content. So suppose I want to replace content here with intro text. So I want this to be hello lovely subscribers. Um, whenever I reference that within my view, I want to use intro text instead of content text. So I could do command F here and Xcode will highlight all every instance of content and I can go in and manually change it. So one drawback of this is that it also highlights just any string that contains the word content. So it includes this comment up here that has my file name because this struct is called content view. So this is highlighted as well. Additionally, my other constants are called content one and content two. So those get highlighted too. So that's one drawback of this, and then I have to go through line by line, changing this to intro text. So I do not want to do that. Um, the other thing I could do is go ahead and change this to intro text, my constant here. I can wait for Xcode to give me a bunch of errors, and then I can manually, you know, copy paste, copy paste, every instance of my error and then make sure I don't you know make mistakes like this. So I'm going to undo that and then I would like to share with you the functionality to use Xcode's edit all in scope um, functionality. Over here I just did a command click on my constant and I can do edit all in scope. This will highlight uh, every instance that this variable is used in and I can rename it to be intro text. I press enter, it works great. Now suppose I wanted to change my mind and I want to change it back, I can do the same thing, edit all in scope, change it back to content, just like that and it's very simple. Suppose I reference this variable, this, suppose this is like, this is public and I have referenced these variables throughout my code base in other files as well. The way that you can change this quickly is by clicking on rename functionality. And so this will show you file by file where you have used um, this function. So right now I only have it in one file, contentview.swift, but if I had this example in other files and I referenced content, then I'm able to go ahead and 
identify those and change them all one time. It's really simple and it's fast. Um, so I can change this to intro text and every single instance is changed. But suppose I don't want to change every single instance. Suppose like this one, I want to keep it constant. Uh, or content, sorry. Then I will go ahead and just say block this one. Don't change it. If I change my mind and I want to add it again, I can just hover over it and tap the add button here. So this is great. I have renamed the content to intro text, but then my feedback was also that I have to rename content one to body text. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just do edit on scope since I don't have multiple files to change. And I will just change it to body text. And you can see in real time as I am typing, line uh, 34 here is changing as well. And then I finally want to change this one. And I did the rename functionality here. You don't have to because it's just one uh, file and it's just one scope. Like we don't use this in other functions outside of this view. Um, outro text, totally fine. I can open my canvas to make sure that everything still looks the same. I don't have any errors showing up. And my view should look exactly the same. And I have renamed all of these different lines of code and I have replaced everything. And I didn't have to see Xcode's um, ugly red errors throughout my file. So if this tip was helpful or useful for you, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos at least once a week and I hopefully I can share more tips and tricks with you. Um, I've created a playlist for Xcode tips. So if you would like to watch those videos, I will also comment below with the keyboard shortcuts for all of these functions and um, hopefully that will help you um, save some time while you're writing your code. You can just use those keyboard shortcuts and replace different variables and functions. And so on an end note, I would also like to add that all of these functionalities, you can use them on functions, you can use them on class names, variables, constants. Um, it's pretty great and it saves me a lot of time when I'm working on large projects. So with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, um, that I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you.